author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. And today, I want to talk about the Corgi. What an interesting little dog Corgis are. You know, they come up off the ground about this far, but they think they're like German Shepherds. <laughs> and uh, Corgis from the herding group, so they like to chase things. They like to chase balls, frisbees, they like to chase kids on skateboards, bikes, and wheelchairs, and anything that has wheels or anything that moves real fast. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're redirecting a lot of that herding instinct and herding drive that Corgis have. Give them a lot of outlets. Play frisbee with them, do a lot of retrieving games, and do obedience. The big thing you want to teach a corgi is to come back when you call them so that if they start hurting the kids in the backyard, they'll come back to you, and to walk on leash. Because as I said, when they see any kind of moving object, they're going to want to go after it. So you want to make sure that you start teaching them at a young age to walk on leash and to come back when you call them. But corgis are great dogs for a lot of different things. They're small dogs, which a lot of people like because they don't want big dogs, but they do a lot of things that big dogs do. Corgis, if you like hiking, if you like doing agility, if you like doing boating, any out outdoor activities, corgis can hang like a big dog. So they're interesting little dogs. And um, the big thing is, as I said, is you want to start the training young, do a lot of socialization with them, and give them a lot of outlets for all those herding instincts and drives that they have. If you'd like even more information on dog training, go to my website, AmazingDogTrainingMan.com, and you can get my free dog training blueprint. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your course.